We've got a lot going on uh, in the state of Kansas, and what I'd like to do is I'm going to go through a few overheads with you uh, of why uh, we started on this course, what we're doing, and where we hope to get with it, and then open up for questions or comments that people, uh, people might have. And I, my guess is there'll be some questions and comments. I've uh, certainly heard them from the Kansas City Star. Uh, that <laughs> they uh, they uh, tend to comment once in a while uh, about, about me. I would hope they cover Jay Nixon once in a while. I just, uh, maybe, maybe a comment a time or two over there would be fine by uh, me if they would do that. Um, so let's, uh, let's get started on these. I want to just uh, see if I can get this. Uh, this, this is what changed the course for me, is this chart. Uh, and I saw this at a conference that uh, we had in the state, and I'd been talking about it for some time before. Uh, but this is Kansas. Uh, Bob Dole, a number of you know Bob Dole, uh, turns 90 this year. He was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives, I think, 1962, from the great 6th District of Northwest Kansas. Kansas now has four congressional districts, headed to three if we don't change that line. That line has to change. We are, in the 70s, we were 28th most populous state in the nation. We're now 33rd, headed to 36th if the current trends continue across the country. I don't know anybody that's brought in to run a place that's uh, tasked with managing slow decline. Okay, come on in, and we just want you to manage the slow decline better than the last person did, all right? We don't want, you don't need to really work to change the course. You don't need to do that much uh, any different. Just make sure it's not as painful as it was under the last person of us going down from 33rd to 36, okay? That's your task. Chancellor, that's where you're supposed to take the University of Kansas. We're going to supposed to take it from this ranking down, but just not very painful, okay? Is anybody, is anybody brought in to do something like, was anybody in this room brought into your organization to manage slow decline? Well, I, I, don't, I don't think so. And so my task, as I see it, one of the key ones is to change that trajectory. We've got to change that line. And we can't, if you're going to do that, you're probably going to have to make some policy changes because we've got 30 years of data that say that if we stay where we are, this is the trend line we get. And we got 30 years of data of being a high tax uh, state in the region. And I want to show you what some of those look like. Here's our net resident migration. Been losing people to every surrounding state but Nebraska. When they went to the Big Ten, I don't care about Nebraska anymore. <laughs> if they're going to do that, uh, well, all right. Uh, and even the last couple years of this chart, we were losing to Nebraska as well. So this is out my, we aren't even winning in our region. We weren't getting in migration in our region. We were losing migration in our region. Now the Kansas City area, Johnson County, number from Johnson County is doing just fine. But there's 104 other counties. Uh, and you put the whole total together, and that was the chart that, that we've been getting. You can see this on a taxpayer migration. Now this is taxpayer migration, and we were the least negative, but we were in the negative category uh, in this as well. That's 90 to, 95 to 2008. So what do you do? Uh, and what I was looking at and saying, and ran for office, saying that in our future, we've got to get much more growth oriented. Uh, I said, often during that campaign, in our future, we need to look a lot more like Texas and a lot less like California. And by that I meant we've got to get growing, we've got to attract people, we can't afford to shed people, we've got to get talent into the state, and we've got to have policies and positions that encourage people to come to Kansas. We want you to come to Kansas. To do that, uh, we've got to get our tax rates down. And the nice thing about the state level, unlike the federal level, is that your expenditures equal your taxes. They have to. So if you're, if you're going to, you, you can't borrow uh, and you can't print money yet. So I, I'm not asking to print money, uh, so <laughs> not doing that. But so you've got to control your spend if you're going to get your tax rate down. And so you can see as we started leveling off and holding that spend rate down, and it had been on a pretty, pretty steady incline over a period of time on all funds spent by the state. I ran on five goals. Uh, and this is the first time I've done this when I, when I ran is I ran on a series of measurables. And most of you that are in the private sector, you deal with measurables every day. I was on the Learjet assembly floor uh, and saw something that really, really made me do this. 
a guy was, they just finished up an employee meeting and they had a bunch of charts over there and a bunch of numbers. And I said, you know, what, what are you doing? He said, well, every day we get together and see how we are doing on this sets of key measurables for us. How many dents did we have yesterday? What was our safety record yesterday? And, they, and he said, what gets measured gets done. And I thought, you know, that's probably accurate in the public sector as well. Now, I've always run on slogans, and every politician I've known has run on slogans. Reduce and reform and return was my, my uh, first one, running for the House and for the Senate. And you get done with that, uh, you get done with your service in office, and you go, well, did we reduce reform and return or not? I said, well, I think I had some, I didn't know if I got some others, you know, not so sure. So I thought, well, let's put five measurables out there that have a number on them. So they're increased net personal income, Increased private sector job growth, which, by the way, the last decade we'd lost private sector job creation in the state of Kansas. Increased the percentage of fourth graders that can read at grade level, and we were at 28% that couldn't, and still one of the better, better states in the country. Increased percentage of high school students are career college ready, and finally reduced the number of children in poverty in the state of Kansas. Those all have a metric with them. <laughs>